Good evening. First tonight, the Southeastern Conference may be looking into harsher penalties for schools who let their fans storm the field after big football games. Schools could lose future home games or even forfeit, as News 2's Tristan Turner reports. Storming the field after a big win is a surreal feeling that many Tiger fans and students got to experience not once, but twice last season. Being able to storm the field of your favorite team is definitely a lifelong dream as a fan. It's like a once in a lifetime. I know we did it twice this year, but every time it felt like once in a lifetime. Monday, Sports Illustrated reported that the Southeastern Conference is considering placing harsher penalties on schools that let their fans storm the field. The SEC cited safety concerns as a reason for these possible penalties. Last season, after Tennessee upset Alabama, fans ripped out goalposts and dumped them in a river, resulting in a $100,000 fine. But these new penalties have business owners concerned. We count on the home games to propel us through the rest of the year. We have slow times in the year, but the football season and those seven home games are what drive us for the remainder of the year. Just by losing one game, it would impact us so much that I don't know how we would make it through to the following season. Football season brings in tons of revenue to Baton Rouge. Everything that's around here counts on these home games. Uh, when you take them away, you're impacting and hurting the people that aren't responsible for storming the field. If adopted, teams that storm the field would lose their next home game versus that opponent. For example, if punished for this season storming after the Alabama win, LSU would have to play at Alabama for the next three years. I definitely feel like there should be some sort of penalty, don't get me wrong, but I think something a bit uh, lenient, more lenient than having a long term, um, you know, taking away a home game, I feel like that's a bit unjust. In Baton Rouge, Tristan Turner, WBRZ News 2. New policy proposals are expected to be presented to athletic directors sometime before the SEC spring meetings this summer. If approved, these new changes will take place for the 2023 season.